Okay. Um, today's about Helen Keller. So I'm going to draw a, a uh, make a drawing of Helen Keller from the cover of her book, The Story of My Life by Helen Keller. It's one of my favorite books, if not my favorite book. But I started to do this yesterday and I made, um, <clears throat> I was going to like not talk when I did it or something. And so I did try that, but then there, were, there was a lot of chaos and the, the cats started fighting and then the pen ran out. And so I just stopped and it was just, I, so this is where it is. So I'm, this is yesterday's, but, and up here I have some, a to-do list and that's yesterday was Tuesday. That's, I'm was supposed to tidy up the, my apartment and I did that. And then today is a really, um, <clears throat> important day because I am going to make, um, today is nine, it's exactly 9 a.m. on Wednesday, August 19th, no. August 21st. Okay, I think so. Wait, August 21st. Yeah, so I'm going to, um, who says portrait central because it's going to be portraits um, that you can um, I'll send one to you if I want and I can send it to you. So that's, that's what I'm, and it's, I know it's gonna be hard to do that, to make, to do that, but I'm, but then, and there's gonna be challenges I'm unforeseen, but that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And then on Thursday, it's gonna go online. Okay, something that I probably wanna do for like 20 years, so. Um, okay, today's the day. And um, today's about Helen Keller, but these are, these are the, um, Keep the portraits that I'm going to have on there, and there's going to be some oil paintings too. Uh, Georg Cantor, who's a mathematician and philosopher, Van Gogh, who's an artist, Helen Keller, who's a writer, and an activist, Hemingway, who's a writer, Kurt Gödel, who's a mathematician and a philosopher, Sonia Kovalevskaya, who's a mathematician, and Alan Turing, who's a mathematician. So those are going to be the portraits, and so I wanted to say that because I'm not going to do um, another drawing uh, one for a bit because I'm going to be working on some math, probably I just have a feeling, probably going to want to work on some math. And um, um, yeah, and I and then I have to, do, I'm going to draw these. So anyway, so that's what my plan is for the next couple of days. And I'm excited to make this. And I got some <clears throat> um, new pens. Okay, but I wanted to share also some of the words from her book because they're so good. And some, um, there's some comments about learning math that are really nice and funny. Okay, so there's some pens. So I'm going to have to take this down. Um, Amy goes. Okay. 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 Oh yeah. So let's. Um. So her forward or her uh, dedication to Alexander Graham Bell who has taught the deaf to speak and enabled the listening to hear speech from the Atlantic to the Rockies. I dedicate the story of my life. Okay, it's nice that technology has helped her. Okay. And I just want to read like the first line because that's like, what is this? How does it start? Uh, it is with a kind of fear that I begin to write the history of my life. I have, as it were, a superstitious hesitation and lifting the veil that clings about my childhood like a golden mist. The task of writing an autobiography is a difficult one. When I try to classify my earliest impressions, I find that fact and fancy look alike across the years that link the past and present. And it's 
And I also like speaking of time, I feel like okay, let's draw because otherwise <laughs> Okay, I'll talk about that stuff later. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, yesterday I was trying to draw it and I couldn't because I wasn't like allowing myself to say anything. So I was like, oh, yeah. Um, I kind of, I just really like that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I don't know if I need all that stuff. Okay. It's, um, Yeah, I was thinking that it's not um, like if I'm going to make a website or something or do anything, I guess it's not so important that it was if it succeeds or not. It's what's important is that it's an impression made towards what you want, towards whatever it is you're even if it's that's like kind of vague to me, but I'm like telling myself this because I have like, you know, fears about <laughs> like what if nobody sees it or like what if the FBI comes to my door <laughs> you know for copyright infringement like there's just a lot that can but <clears throat> um <sighs> it's um but it's like in it's like in set theory um Um,
See, it's already like super chilly. It's okay. It's okay. Oh no, it's like okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I can't make it as beautiful as she is. I just can't. I can't do that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm like really nervous. Okay. And it's really hot in here. Maybe that's what it is. Extremely hot in here. Okay, I'm gonna turn the air conditioner on. like how you don't have any control over you don't build a generic filter you don't you but you can have control over the conditions you can and then you just hope then once you have all the conditions then how the generic filter is built is not really that's a mystery but okay so that's what That's all I had to say about that now. I would now I have to focus on this because I'm gonna look like this. It's just a breakfast. <sighs> okay. She's like, good night. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. She's like, bye bye. Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay. It's okay, Helen. I... Okay. Ah. Let's do this part. Let's do this. It's like, ah, oh, it's weird. It's just weird. Some days it's like, oh. It's fun though. Take the weights really fun. It's fun. Anyway, it's an impression towards, <laughs> no, like I was just, just by what's, that's actually, I like, I like these parts. Maybe it's like background pressures. Okay, I like all those parts, I think I'll just go like this. I'm gonna fill all those in, that's gonna be fun, and then okay, at least we can get. Okay, that's completely. Okay, that's completely. Okay, that's. And then, <clears throat> then this is like. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's pretty much fine. Oh, she looks like she's like throwing up right now. Okay. Excellent. Oof. I really, you know. Oh, I should read the part about the math. Okay, okay, that's that's good. So it's actually pretty almost done. Okay, okay, you'll see it. You'll see it uh, in a second here. Um, okay. This was um, when she was learning about geometry. Okay. Well, okay. I'll just read these. It's like it's like four paragraphs, but. Um, 
she had she took the same exams as everyone else at her school. I think it was college. Okay, while she was writing her autobiography. So, okay. Uh, okay so two days before the examinations, Mr. Vinning spit, sent me a braille copy of of the old Harvard papers in algebra. To my dismay, I found that it was in the American notation. I sat down immediately and wrote to Mr. Vining, ask him to, asking him to explain the signs. I received another paper and a table of signs by return mail, and I sent the, uh, to work to learn the notation. But on the night before the algebra examination, while I was struggling over some very complicated examples, I could not tell the combinations of brackets, brace, and radical. Both Mr. Keith and I were distressed and full of forebodings for the morrow, but we went over to the college a little before the examination began and had Mr. Vining explain more fully the American symbols. I don't remember actually in the book if she learned the um, another another set of symbols. I, I don't remember. In, geom in geometry, my chief difficulty was that I had always been accustomed to read the propositions in line print or to have them spelled into my hand. And somehow, although the propositions were right before me, I found the braille confusing and could not fix clearly in my mind what I was reading. But, but when I took up algebra, I, I had a harder time still. The signs which I had so lately learned and which I thought I knew perplexed me. Besides, I could not see what I wrote on my typewriter. I, always, I had always done my work in braille or in my head. Mr. Keith had relied too much on my ability to solve problems mentally and, and had not trained me to write examination papers. Consequently, my work was painfully slow, and I had to read the examples over and over before I could form any idea of what I was required to do. Indeed, I'm not sure now <clears throat> that I read all the signs correctly. I found it very hard to keep my wits about me. But I do not blame anyone. The, the administration board of Radcliffe did not realize how difficult they were making my examinations, nor did they understand the, particular, the, the peculiar difficulties I had to surmount. But if they unintentionally placed obstacles in my way, I have the consolation of knowing that I overcame them all. Yeah, she, well, she had to, like, oh, she had to, well, read the book. I won't, I won't give anything away. Okay. All right, now we can do the fun part. You know, she kind of looks like um, Alanis Morissette right here. Okay. Okay, now we just gotta fill this baby in. But actually, like, I like these, I mean, I like these kinds of, um, drawings because they're really textured uh, in person. You can really feel them. But you're my algebra buddy. But you're my algebra buddy. Oh, I like that idea. Okay, that's really cool. Just do that. We'll just. Okay, I don't know. I mean, she passed. She passed her exams, all of them. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I, I don't know what the, like grades she got or whatever. But I, I give it. Like, she passed. She's like a little girl in this one, though, I think. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that I felt like very confident that this website exists because I felt like I was a time traveler and that I came back a couple days. That's the confidence I had about it. So that's good.
see, like the paper already gets, when I start doing this, the paper gets really long, like warped. Actually working pretty well as I was. Oh, I need one of those NASA pens. I like, I mean, I like doing this. It's might be boring, but I I feel like it's gonna. Oh well. It's... You know, I, I like to be like this. I know sometimes because it's funny. I'm just going to keep using different pens because what can I say? Um... Yeah, I was thinking about um... no, well, I, I, I mean it's... I was thinking about when you force, when you're forcing, when you're forcing in set theory and you want to force to add a new real number, like a, like a, a binary sequence of zeros and ones, a new one, one that no one has ever seen before. And, but you don't have any, you can't, you can't build it because you can't like build it. But what you can do is it's like a machine. You can put all these objects into it that you, that you, that you, all the all the possible sequences of zeros and ones, all the finite ones. It's like making soup or something. You have all the possible ingredients you might need to make this new thing. But that reminds me of Stone Soup. That's a really good book. That's my favorite story. I mean, I would say everything's my favorite story, but <laughs> Stone Soup is so good because sometimes it feels like that when you're doing art or you're doing math. You're like, but the only reason it's soup is because I'm calling it soup, you know, because. <laughs> Everybody believes that it's soup, and so I love that story. Like I don't know if you've, everyone's heard of it. There's a, I'll just I'll fill it in like two sentences. There's like a guy that's um, he goes to a town, and everybody's like not really doing much, and they're like kind of bored all the time. And he's like, let's 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 spice things up a little bit. So he 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 gets a big like big pot. And he's like, hey, guys, do you guys know what the best thing ever is? And they're like, no. He's like, oh, I'll tell you. And he's like, they're like, tell us, tell us. What is it? What is it? What is it? And he's like, oh, I'll tell you. I'm not going to tell you everything, but I'll tell you a little bit about it. I'm like, what is it? What is it? What is it? And <laughs> he's like, it's a soup. And they're like, soup? Oh, okay. Well, that's, you know, like, we've all had soup before. He's like, no, this is the best soup you've ever had in your life. Ever, ever. And it's like changes your life, basically. Let me tell you, when you get your hand on this soup, <laughs> so, so he's like, I'm like, you know, to really like make the soup work, uh, you need to bring me, you know, you, you should add some extras. I mean, the main part is the, this like, I think it's like a special stone. He's like, it's, it's this stone that you, it's a magic stone that you put in the soup. And that's really, <clears throat> it's amazing that what this stone does, it, it just, it gives, it's like life-giving stone. 
And so he convinces them, and he says, but you need, you need other things. Uh, it's oh, it tastes a little bit better if you have carrots. Does anyone like? I mean, you guys, uh, you guys all have gardens or whatever in this small town. Does anyone have carrots or do you guys like carrots? They're like, yeah, we like carrots, and I have some carrots actually growing in my garden. I'm like, well, if you want to add it, you can add carrots. I mean, it, it tastes like a little bit better. I mean, it's already amazing, but it tastes like slightly better if you added carrots. So he adds the carrots. And then this one guy's like, but, but, but what about me? I, I want to help out too. I, I, know, I grow celery. What about me? Oh, yeah. I guess you can add the celery. I mean, if you want to add the celery, it's like, I mean, it's not going to like make it drastically better, but it will taste a little better if you add celery. Anyway, like I go, go around like that. Everyone's like starts adding like, oh, hey, I got my butcher shop over there. You want some meat? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? I mean, okay. So whatever they have in the town and then they all eat the soup and they're like, this is the best soup I've ever had in my life. That's the whole story. They love it. That's how he's right. Okay. Oh yeah, then I was also wondering if I am a time traveler, um, which I do sometimes go back and visit my old selves, you know, in my mind and tell them, hey, guys, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be just fine, don't worry. You know? So, so I'm not surprised that like I would come and visit myself, but I just was wondering, you know, how do I know that I'm a truth telling time traveler? So I come back and I say, oh, you have a website. I mean, I, you have a website where you have some portraits of people you can, you know, share with people. <clears throat> send to them. And <clears throat> property of no one. Property of myself. And um, I'm saying that because I saw a shirt. And it just reminds me of, like, you know, being your own boss and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. So, anyway, um, I don't really remember what I was talking about. But I will Oh yeah, how do I know if I'm like a truth-telling time traveler? And then I thought, well, it doesn't. I guess, I guess it doesn't. I don't know actually. How would we tell? But um, but I know that at least I'm a well-intentioned time traveler to myself. So I, I mean, if I'm lying to her, that. I really don't have a website in two days. Then, but then it causes me to make one. Then I guess it's benevolent, huh? Okay. So here we go. I'm gonna just like I just feel like this is how I'm doing. Okay. Then I'm gonna just it's just hair. Okay, it's just hair. I, I mean, I like it the way it is, honestly, because it's... Well, this guy, see, I need, definitely need one of those NASA pens, but... Okay. Yeah, it actually is just hair. No, yeah, but I would say property of me. I mean, like, if you're on your own boss, then then you're then you don't have to answer to anybody, just to yourself. But I guess we all live. I mean, anyway. yeah, we're all bound by societal things, but we're all free. We, like, bound by God, I guess. Okay. I'm not trying to slip it any. I just talking again. I just ramble. But if you're watching, then maybe don't mind. Okay. Okay, then I'm just gonna get this guy filled in. That's probably that's probably why I can't do it on here. But you know, I really do want to do this and finish this on the board. So I do want to do some math. Math. When I was when I was an undergrad, the, it was called the math math lab. I lived in Nebraska, but it's called Matt. But everybody thought that was like, funny. Well, I guess I don't. I thought that was funny. 
Yeah, the math lab was really cool. The math lab was like, you go in, it's a very run, very well run orderly system. There was um, the person that ran it, she was like, ran 10 miles a day in the morning. She was like amazing. Um, kind of, I don't know, some kind of robot. I know, I don't know. She was amazing. But she like, it was very, you, like walk in, you can get any help you want um, in any undergraduate math course. It was just tutors, basically. It was like tutors. And then the undergraduates taught the other undergraduates. <clears throat> like I taught as ca I taught calculus. I, got, I taught algebra as a calculus um, student. When I taught, when I was taking calc two, I was teaching algebra, which was amazing, which was awesome. Cause I didn't write the curriculum. She wrote it for us, but that was really cool. Okay. Um, it's pretty hard to finish this with the, um, like this on the board. So, oh, I hate to just like stop the video, but I can't do it like this. Um, I have to just fill these in. So I'm gonna fill these in and then I'll share it. And, um, but thanks, thanks for listening. Unless I can figure out some way to do it. Oh, I'll just do it like this. Okay. So I hate that. Not I'm just going to do it because, um, I don't know. There's some kind of like Schrodinger's cat effect going on. It's hard. Cause like, um, sometimes when I draw something, then it's like all this like, going back and forth. Like, is it done yet or whatever? But I just feel like if I'm doing it like this, then I know when it's done. Cause it's over when the video's over. Okay. Okay. So anyway, like talking about, I'm just gonna go like do it like this. Oh yeah, I'll just do it like this. There we go. Okay, that won't take very long. There we go. Okay. Okay. That's how we're gonna do it. Okay. That's fine. It's not like I wish it was like that demonstration or something but so I'll just you know I'm gonna do some more like this today today and tomorrow all day it's, it's been extremely helpful to be able to just like record the, record these because it helped me like, I don't know. It's hard to describe what it does. It's very nice though. So I, Okay, well, I... Oh, that's nice. Okay. They, everything, it's just always ends up so different. Okay, that's fine. I, I kind of like it like that. It's not done yet. Oh yeah, she's okay. That's cool.
Oh, maybe Emily Dickinson would be a good one. I liked her too. I liked her clothes. Or um, uh, Charlotte Bronte, because I really liked the Jane Eyre one. Those are good ones too. I would love to somehow like draw as I'm drawing it's projected and I don't know how that works well I have a digital sketch pad that's what this is oh yeah this but it's you can draw on paper on there but it has like a little tiny piece and it doesn't it doesn't really capture like what you're doing I guess Like the old, like the old projector, that would probably do it, huh? Just interesting. Because for me, I, I, I like to watch when people are doing that. So right now you can't really see it, I guess, but. I just gotta do one more loop. One more loop around the track. Ooh, it's. Oh, it's just like such a relief. Like, you know, to like stay committed to yourself. Okay. I like it. I think it looks kind of like, I think that's good. Okay, that's it. So thanks so much for just, if you're watching this, thanks. I feel it. Okay, there it goes. Saved it. It's right there. Thank you. Thanks, God, too.